we all have a superhero inside us. It just takes a bit of magic to bring it out. In Billy Batson's case, by shouting out one word, Shazam, this streetwise 14-year-old foster kid can turn into the adult superhero Shazam, courtesy of an ancient wizard. Still a kid at heart, Shazam revels in this adult version of himself by doing what any teen would do with superpowers. He has fun. Shazam sets out to test the limits of his abilities with the joyful recklessness of a child, but he'll need to master these powers quickly in order to fight the deadly forces of evil controlled by Dr. Thaddeus. Savannah. Billy Bats. I wish it was you. As a champion. Say my name so my powers will become yours. Shazam. Wait for real. Say it, okay! Say my name. Crazy, right? What are your superpowers? Superpowers, dude? I don't even know how to pee in this thing. This is proof of authenticity. Super strength. Electricity manipulation. Hyper speed. I'd like to purchase some of your finest beer, please. Sparkle fingers. No, it's not. It's not my. It's not my name. Chosen one. Oh, you're like a bad guy, right? You literally did the opposite of what a superhero is supposed to do. You're him. You're the hero. You're welcome for not getting wrong. My bad man. Get him back in. How old are you? Basically, fifteen. Peter to bust and almost kill these people. And then I caught it! You leave tall buildings in a single bound. <laughs> so that was the trailer for Shazam. Uh, what, what did you think about the film, Beth? I actually, I really liked it. I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, hmm. I, I really liked it. Mm. I think it maybe suffers a little bit from being hyped too much by people. Yes. And um, because I was going and expecting this like absolutely stunning, amazing superhero film that would like blow my socks off, and it didn't really blow me away. But I had a lot of fun watching it. Yeah, I think I was the opposite. I'm not a big fan of DC, mm. um, and I never expect anything that looks amazing from them. Yeah. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised by how good Shazam was and how good it looked. Do you know what? One of the things I, I did like about it was that it was a little bit of an outlier as far as DC films go mm. because I think Warner Brothers try way too hard um, with like the, the, the Batman and superhero films, mm-hmm. um, and Superman, I mean, to, to have this much darker, like moodier setting and mm. you can barely see anything because it's so dimly lit. And it's just like, it's really like maudlin compared to Marvel, which tends to have a little bit more more fun Mm -hmm. with the story. But Shazam was like, Shazam felt like a Marvel film because it had that kind of, it had that playfulness to it and that that sense of humour and those kind of elements that that give Marvel films more kind of well-roundedness. Absolutely. I think there's a certain tone to Marvel films that DC have just always missed. Yeah. I think... Um, Shazam was the first time I've watched a DC film and actually thought that it hit the mark. Yeah. And, I mean, there were bits in it that were genuinely so funny. Yeah. And it was really fun to watch. It was. And I think it just... It, it's like... Um, was it someone I, I heard on the radio? So I'm about to plagiarise another review here. Because uh, they called it... <laughs> um, they called it Big with Superpowers. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the same kind of concept, isn't it? It is, exactly, yeah. Uh, and, you know, fundamentally, there's this this kid who wants something more, like, and and he gets given these superpowers, and suddenly he's, like, what, omnipotent? Yeah. And, like, I think it kind of taps into something universal, mm-hmm. that sense that we all kind of, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It just, it made you feel good. It, it did. It was a very feel-good film, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 But... 
what I think was interesting is the director of Shazam is the guy who did Annabelle Creation. Really? Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> well, fair enough, diverse. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, and this is actually him and the producer uh, talking about uh, bringing the film to life. We had this great cast, like Zachary Levi and uh, Jack Dylan Gracer, who are just hilarious. You know, I mean, I would just do take after take because they would, you know, improvise and change little things and, and they would make me crack up. And sometimes I, I would just not yell cut because I wanted to see what would happen when they ran out of the script and they started making up things by themselves, you know. So it's just a testament to the cast that they could that they could do that. But this unique tone was always something that we wanted to achieve because it really stands out in the superhero universe as something special and different. It doesn't feel like it blends in, you know, with all the other superhero movies that are out there. Yeah, and I think that completely echoes what we just said, right? They mm -hmm. were going for something different and it, it felt so different from a DC film. It really did. Yeah, and I think going back to the cast, um, Zachary Levi, who plays Shazam, mm -hmm. I think, he was great because there's there's a real skill involved in playing a superhero and a 15 year old kid simultaneously yeah and i mean he really was believable wasn't he yeah 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 he was great although um i don't know if anyone else thinks this but he was kind of like it reminded me of if jimmy fallon got really hench <laughs> I can see that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I can see that. And if he was a little bit younger. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, I can totally see that. But he was he was good. And what I think as well was that the supporting cast. So I, I without giving too much away, there's there's mm. definitely plans to um, bring Shazam into um, the fold or at least build a kind of franchise around him. Good. And I think the 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 family of Shazam is going to be a big part of that. Good. And yeah, I, I like think that. they kind of they introduce that and they so they're like they're your classic sidekicks, right? Yeah, absolutely. They um they help Shazam as you would expect. So his the, the guy that is his like foster brother mm -hmm. is is like his I don't know how to how would you how would you describe him in superhero terms? He's kind of like the Falcon to Iron Man, right? Yeah. Or is it Captain America? But he's he's the Falcon anyway. Yeah, yeah, you know, I get that. He's like the Wasp to the Shazam's Ant Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. And um, I I really like what they started to do with all of those other characters, mm. um, which kind of makes a sequel not just feasible, but really welcome. Absolutely, and I would like to see more. So would I. Yeah, I actually think that the they've only just touched on the character of Shazam. Yeah, and it's a he's a really compelling character. Yeah, and I think they could go so so far into the background of it as well. Yeah. So I think they could really do, like, a prequel set, like, 50, 60 years prior. Yeah. And, like, loads of sequels. They really could. But what I think is great as well is that this, this whole concept that it's a guy who inherits these powers from a wizard, what's not to say that they've, they haven't even discovered some of the, the superpowers he has? Why not time travel? Why not other yeah. stuff, you know? Yeah, there's so much they could do with it and so many directions they could go. Yeah. Um... It'll be interesting to see what, what happens. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, this is actually the star of the film, Zachary Levi, talking about uh, why he loved doing the role so much. Particularly as a kid who grew up reading comic books and loving comic books, and the movie's about wish fulfillment. It's about the kid in all of us who, at some point in our lives, I think I believe, I truly believe all of us at some point, believed that they could be or would be a superhero of some kind uh, or have superpowers, you know, flight is always the big one that kids, kids would love to do. I still want to fly. But to be able to have all those dreams coming true, literally for me, like my, the kid in me just has, has its wishes being fulfilled, the actor in me gets to be a superhero. And all that does is make me really, really happy and, <laughs> and really stoked that this is where my life is right now. And fortunately for me, unlike a lot of other actors, who I'm sure are super giddy and stoked that they're a superhero, but then have to be a serious, you know, Christian Bale, I'm sure when he found out he was Batman was super chuffed. And then after that, you know, he'd have to be really dramatic, you know, and it's all, it's Batman, you know? I didn't have to do any of that. I just got to keep taking this enthusiasm that I genuinely feel and just ported it all right into the character. So we had a blast. I can't get over how much he sounds like Jimmy Fallon. We need to like get an interview between the two of them. I genuinely don't think if you just saw their faces and had them talking, you could tell them apart. 
I don't know. Does he sound much like him? He looks like him. That could have been an interview with Jimmy Fallon for all I know. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe we should tweet Jimmy Fallon and tell him to get on it. Let's tweet Jimmy Fallon and Zachary Levi and just make it happen. Okay. Let's get them on the film show. All right. We'll give it, we'll give it a go. <laughs> I'm sure they'll love it. <laughs> yeah, I, I did think though Zachary Levi was uh, was was fantastic, and I, I really really hope that he not just does Shazam, but but like all the things. I could watch him in in any comedy. I think. Yeah, I, has he been in much else? I've never seen him before. I don't know. Like he's got one of those faces that um, well, obviously um, looks a lot like other people's faces, yeah. but uh, I, I I can't recall him in anything else. No. No. Um, but let's do a quick buy, borrow, bin, uh, and we'll get that up on Twitter as well. We'll get we'll get the the the, the people's vote. Um, but for me, it's a solid buy. Yeah, it's a solid buy for me as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Shazam, great film. Doesn't feel like a DC film. So if you love Marvel, you'll probably like it. Uh, mm-hmm. And from the film, this is Twenty One Pilots and Legend. Mm-hmm.